Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve network and internet issues you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, as well as Windows 10 computers. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space WinSock W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset space catalog exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, N-E-T-S-H, WinSock, Reset, Catalog. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Please note that you will have to restart your computer in order to complete the reset. But before we do that, you want to go type in N-E-T-S-H, space I-N-T, space I-P, space Reset, space Reset, dot L-O-G. So again, N-E-T-S-H, space I-N-T, space I-P, space Reset, and then you want to do another space reset.log hit enter on your keyboard once that's done you should have to restart your computer and then hopefully your issues should be resolved I do want to mention as well if there's a specific website that's having a problem it's more than likely that website I recommend checking other web pages as well so if your internet is working fine but it just seems to be a couple websites might be down there's a good chance that those websites are down and it's not on your end in which case there's really nothing you can do to actually resolve that problem besides messaging the webmaster or whoever's hosting the website but I don't think most of you guys are that interested in doing that so anyway once you've done that now you want to go ahead and open up the start menu type in device manager plus match should come back with device manager go ahead and left click on that now you want to expand the network adapter section so you double click on it or left click a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down now whatever network connection is listed under here you want to right click on it and then left click on update driver you want to search automatically for updated driver software, see if it finds anything in here. Okay, so it might have been able to find something, maybe not. It might also prompt you to search for updated drivers on Windows Update, which you're more than welcome to do. But we're going to go ahead and close out of here, see if that maybe had some resolution for you. Now, we're also going to go ahead and open up the Start menu, type in Control Panel. Best match should come back with Control Panel right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to either large or small icons, and then select Network and Sharing Center. On the left side, select Change Advanced Sharing Settings. So for Private, you want to go ahead and expand that drop down here. So you want to make sure Network Discovery is turned on and Automatic Setup of Network Connected Devices is also selected here. And for File and Printer Sharing, so if you're having a problem with your printer or perhaps different files between one computer and another that are on your network, you want to go Turn On File and Printer Sharing. So again, this is more applicable if you're having printer issues, so we're going to go select that. And once you're done with that, you can close out of here. Now, if you're on Windows 10, you can run the built-in network troubleshooter. If you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can go through the control panel and access the troubleshooting utilities to go detect internet connectivity problems. But on Windows 10, I'm just going to go type in troubleshoot. Best match should go back with troubleshoot settings. I'm going to go left click on that. I'm going to scroll down underneath Get Up and Running and select Internet Connection, find and fix problems of connecting to the Internet or to websites, and then select Run the Troubleshooter.
says please select the issue when this should troubleshoot so versus a specific website or just trying to connect to the internet you want to select the correct one here and then just go ahead and make that selection see if it is able to resolve anything hopefully at that point so if it couldn't identify the problem then we're just going to go ahead and close out of here otherwise it might actually be able to detect something hopefully so now we can also click back on the home tab over here right where I'm circling so go left click on that now you want to select network and internet on the right side scroll down to where you find network reset left click on that so this will remove then reinstall all network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches so make sure you have your router password handy before you click the reset now button but go ahead and do that so you will have to restart your computer select yes to confirm that we're going to be resetting our network here so restart your computer and hopefully that should be able to resolve the problem close out any open programs and applications obviously before you restart and that should hopefully be another solution in resolving this problem so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial I do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye